So here you go, last uh, talk of the evening with uh, a library on uh, for exploratory analysis. Thank you. Okay, this is a, um, a project that I've been working lately uh, for automa automa automating the exploratory analysis of databases. So the problem is very simple. When you start a new project, a new data project, um, your customer or internal customer send you a, a data, set, data set or a database. So what do you do? Basically, you, um, you think about it, you compute some frequencies, calculate some statistics, uh, try to see some trends in data, try to know the data uh, that uh, you will work in with. Uh, but then um, it sends you, it, uh, your customer sends you uh, 10 new tables uh, to analyze. What do you do? Like, you try to repeat the same process again. You, you try to don't leave any data out. You want to know the, the, the data. So two weeks later, three new, data, uh, new databases, complete databases uh, with n uh, more than or approximately 200 tables each. Then the process, the process is kind of uh, it's, it's, it's linear. So if you spend two hours uh, re re revising one table, you multiply that, that, uh, those two hours for uh, x tables. So the, the library I will show you basically uh, try to alleviate this process. Uh, it's called AutoEDA for Automated Exploratory Data Analysis. It works for uh, databases. Um, and basically you have two connections. A source database that you want to analyze. Uh, you have as many as you want. You just pile up the, these databases. And one metadata uh, database where you will put all the metadata from uh, this, these tables, uh, from, from these databases. Um, so how it works, basically, the library or the, the script auto-generates SQL code and extracts uh, column names, table names, uh, features uh, like um, uh, distinct values, nulls in, in the data set, um, temporal grouping of the data when, when you have uh, time, time stamps and some statistics. Uh, you just need to provide uh, a connection to, the, to your source and a connection to your uh, metadata uh, database. Um, this is a simple configuration. Basically, uh, you import the, the, the library and you basically pass uh, the two connections or you import the, the two connections and you just need to um, configure it here where is the, the server. You specify what type of engine, a MySQL, SQL server uh, is working uh, pretty well. Um, Postgres as well and SQLite. And basically you just, uh, these connections are where the server lives, uh, the root, the password. Um, I'm using for this example uh, the employees database from um, MySQL. Uh, so in line uh, 15, basically, it calls the, the, the library uh, using uh, these connections. You just pass these connections. You have uh, your, your data in your databases. And we will see a wee example of this. So basically, I'm calling this explorer. Uh, I call it meetup. Um, it makes the connection, reads first the, the columns of the tables, then reads the, the tables, um, and it starts extracting uh, information from the columns, uh, distinct values, nulls, um, and then um, the, uh, the temporal data, it, it groups uh, the temporal data automatically. So um, at the end of the process, you just leave it this running, at the end of the process, you will have a database that you can query and put a, 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 any tool that you want to visualize. So uh, the backend or the metadata database will have six tables at the moment, one for tables, columns. Uh, you can see the, the, the code in the repository. I will, I will share it at the end of the presentation. And basically, it, it, it goes through um, all the kind of metadata you would like to analyze and you have everything in one place. What are, are the, the good things about this? Is, is, is that, that it's not just for one database. You could pull data from different engines, for example. So compare data or having one repository uh, databases for, from MySQL, from SQL Server in the same uh, repository and compare it, analyze it, see if you have data from one 
that lives in, in the other. You could do a lot of analysis from one, uh, uh, one single repository. So this is uh, just a visualization. I, I blur, <laughs> I pixelize uh, a little bit, but you can uh, you could put build this uh, on your own, just querying the tables, uh, the server names, the table names. Um, for this example, I had like five billion rows analyzed, uh, forty thousand uh, uh, columns analyzed, and eight eight hundred uh, twenty three tables, and you just uh, build up. So. The thing is, you extract the metadata, it's very lightweight, so even analyzing 5 billion rows of data, it's basically 30 megabytes, 50 megabytes, which is very handleable for a database, and, and you can basically uh, have access of, uh, to the information that uh, you need. Uh, you can analyze the time series data. Uh, all, the, all the time series is uh, basically automated, automatically stored in a different database uh, monthly. You can change that to weekly or uh, yearly if you want and basically query that uh, data when you need. Um, especially if you have a new requirement, you could search by data value, for example, or uh, names of the columns um, when you, well, that's uh, the uh, library. Thank you.